Here we go again then, this time we're going to make a noise and we're going to use a piezo electric buzzer. Now that sounds very complicated but it's not complicated at all. All it is is a little crystal that when you apply some voltage across it, some battery power, it changes shape and if we rest that up against a disc of metal, when that crystal uh, changes shape, it will shake that disc of metal and that will be the sound that we hear. I have already made it more complicated than it really is just by saying it like that. So, right, let's have a look. Remember, first point of order, when you start, change components up here from basic to all, and then you'll see everything that's available. So let's get ourselves that, uh, there it is there. Oh, come back, so that comes like that, and I'm gonna rotate this. And the reason I have rotated this will become obvious in a minute. There's negative. There's positive, negative and positive. I wish I'd, wish I'd made that go black up there when they do that. But anyway, well, who am I to say? Right, uh, down, get ourselves a micro bit because what's life without a micro bit? And then turn it again. And the reason I've done turn the components will be obvious in a second. So we need to connect ground down here. In fact, we do it like that all the way there to the negative, tidy that up and we'll make that wire black and then let's just go there shall we for argument's sake and up there tidy that up, this is easier by far on a computer with a mouse and we'll make that red right so obviously nothing's going to happen until we give it some code uh, so I think uh, just to avoid it looping around and making noise forever and annoying us, we'll, we'll use the buttons. That gives us three options then. So on start, let's just change that icon just like that. Why not? And then, all right, so let's have it on button A. Now, we're going through ground through to pin naught. Now, it's an output. And what we can do is we can set the analog pitch pin which is on naught, so we need to do that. We first of all need to say we're going to make a noise. That's on naught, and then where is it? Um, we can make a noise for so long, for so long. So let's try some numbers. Let's see. Uh, I think let's just try 200, and let's try 400 here, and see what happens. So when we press button A on here, remember we do this. We'll start the simulation. When we press button A, that always annoys me, that virtual representation. You can move it out of the way uh, if you're on a PC. So move that out of the way. And this just is things you can do on your on your microphone. There we are. Make a noise. Pressing the button. So let's go a bit higher with that. Let's go 300. Start the simulation. So you see what we're getting at there. So we can. Let's basic we can then so on button B remember you can right click those blocks duplicate them bring them down and well, let's make that 350 this time so I wonder if that'll make much difference let's see so button A now we need something for up there so there's three options for the buttons duplicate this block drag it down here put it in there and over here we go a and b start simulation oh i didn't change the number there did i so let's, i don't know how high this goes i haven't played around with this enough uh, so let's start the simulation and let's let's play around with these numbers i don't know let's go 70 there i'll make that 350 and let's make that one uh, 120 and this one 200 uh, what will we make the last one I don't know let's make it let's make it a lot slower just see if we can see any big differences with all of this so there we are there's some numbers there oh I'll show the code again and let's zoom out a little bit so you can see that code a bit better so a b right let's see what happens there Well, I'm not sure about those sounds. So there we are. I'll leave you with that to to play around with. 
Why did I turn this uh, around? Because we don't like wires crossing each other, okay? If you can lay things out so that um, the wires uh, look logical and don't cross each other, it makes it much easier for you to debug stuff. Have a play. You can only make simple sounds with a pizza electric buzzer. You can't, so, but you could make a tune if you work hard enough. So if you can make it a tune and you're in one of my classes in, real, in the real world, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, that is how to connect a piezoelectric buzzer to a BBC microbit. Until the next time, bye-bye.